1MDB has sparked embezzlement and money laundering investigations across One of the biggest corruption countries. scandals the world has ever seen. What may be the biggest financial scam in the history. Of corrupt 1MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Follow us as we bring you into the courtroom where the biggest financial scandal in Malaysian history is being heard. By the Malaysian Insight, this is the Najib Razak 1MDB trial, and I'm Patrick Teo. Ambank's SWIFT unit manager, Widani Senen, today told the court that close to US$670 million US dollars was transferred to Najib Razak's personal bank account in a span of three years from an individual and two different companies. That entire amount was only from five transactions from a total of 12 that were channeled into two different accounts belonging to the former Prime Minister. <coughs> it's Thursday, June 16th, and Najib's 1MDB trial resumed at the Kuala Lumpur High Court this morning. Najib is standing trial for graft involving 2.28 billion ringgit in 1MDB funds. He faces 25 charges, 4 for abuse of power and 21 for money laundering, for offences committed between 2011 and 2013. Today, Widani, 48, told the court that all the funds involving five different transactions were transferred to an AM private banking account with the number ending 694 belonging to the former Prime Minister. The trial's 29th prosecution witness said a total of 20 million US dollars came in two different transactions from an individual known as Prince Faisal Turkey Banda Al Saud, dated February 24, 2011, and June 14, 2011, respectively. She said that two more transactions, close to 30 million US dollars, were transferred from Blackstone Asia Real Estate Partners Limited, a shell company owned and controlled by one Eric Tan. Of the amount, a total of 4,999,988 US dollars and 24,999,988 US dollars were transferred to Najib's 694 on October 30th, 2012 and November 19th, 2012, respectively. Both Prince Faisal and Eric Tan were trusted associates of fugitive businessman Low Tech Joe, better known as Joe Low. Widani was unable to read her witness statement that contained details of the other seven transactions due to time constraints. However, she will continue with her statement on Monday when the trial resumes. In this trial's opening statement, lead public prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram said that the former Prime Minister had employed an elaborate charade to divert hundreds of millions of dollars to his personal bank account. He said that Najib had used his position as chairman of the state-owned 1MDB Board of Advisors Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to exert influence over the board of 1MDB to carry out certain abnormal transactions with undue haste. The former federal court judge said Najib took steps to evade justice and interfered with the course of the investigation into the case. Meanwhile, earlier today, the trial's 28th witness, Mohammad Fairuz Hanif, told the court that two shell companies supposedly siphoned some 1.83 billion US dollars, or 5.5 billion ringgit, from scandal hit One Malaysia Development Burhat 1MDB between 2009 and 2011, were dissolved almost four years after receiving the funds. The two companies were Goodstar Limited and Petro Saudi International Limited (PSI). Firuz, a legal policy advisor with Labuan Financial Service Authority, told the court that, based on information obtained from Seychelles Financial Service Authority, Goodstar Limited 
was dissolved on May 2, 2014, while Petro Saudi International Limited was dissolved on April 8, 2015. The witness said he had obtained the details from Seychelles Financial Service Authority after it was requested by the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission on July 16, 2018, which was representing the Malaysian government. He said, among others, the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission in particular wanted details on Good Star Limited and Petro Saudi International Limited. It was earlier revealed by investigators that Good Star Limited was controlled by Joe Lowe, while Saudi national Tarek Obaid was the owner of Petro Saudi International Limited. Fairuz said that he had then sent the email as requested by the MACC to Seychelles Financial Service Authority's Chief Executive Officer and also the Supervision Manager on August 10, 2018. The witness said he received two subsequent replies for the email from Yves Finesse, a supervision manager from Seychelles Financial Service Authority. According to Fairuz, the reply from Finesse showed that both Good Star Limited and Petro Saudi International Limited were registered under the same business address. He also confirmed, based on the documents obtained, that both companies used the same registration agent. Vistra Seychelles Limited, previously known as Offshore Incorporation Seychelles Limited. Earlier during the trial, the ninth prosecution witness, former 1MDB CEO Sharul Azral Ibrahim Haumi, told the court that nobody on the state owned 1MDB board attempted to verify the ownership of Good Star Limited after 700 million US dollars was transferred into its account instead of its purported parent, Petro Saudi International Limited. He also said that the total amount of funds injected by 1MDB into Petro Saudi International Limited and Good Star Limited was 1.83 billion US dollars. The transactions included 300 million US dollars to 1MDB Petro Saudi Limited and 700 million US dollars to Good Star Limited on September 30th, 2009, purportedly as cash capital for a 40% stake in a joint venture with Petro Saudi International. On September 14th, 2010, 1MDB paid 500 million US dollars to 1MDB Petro Saudi Limited under a Murabaha financing agreement. Finally, between May 20, 2011 and October 25, 2011, 330 million US dollars in four payments was transferred from 1MDB to Good Star Limited, Sharul had testified in court. The trial's 15th prosecution witness, former 1MDB chairman Mohammed Baki Saleh, also testified in court earlier, saying he had suspected that the 1MDB management had bypassed the board and listened to instructions from a higher level, namely former Prime Minister Najib Razak and Joe Lowe, which led to the immediate siphoning of 700 million US dollars to Good Star Limited. Baki eventually resigned in October 2009, stating his reason for resignation was because Sharul and the 1MDB management did not obey instructions the board had given them regarding several matters. Fairuz was released from the stand after lunch. The hearing before Justice Colin Lawrence Sakera will continue on Monday with Wadani slated to continue reading her witness statement. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by the Malaysian Insight. It was written by Ravin Palanisami. I'm Patrick Till.